Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Mark from Sea Wild Earth, and today I'm going to be looking at uh, vlogging with a GoPro Hero 7 Black. GoPros are awesome. They took the action camera, personal action camera market by storm all those years ago. Uh, but in recent years they've had stiff uh, competition by numerous manufacturers. Um, but some still prefer them. I like them for their uh, diversity um, and just for the accessories. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to quickly just go through the uh, setup that I've got um, for vlogging with a GoPro Hero 7 using uh, an external mic. Uh, so I'll be going through all of the bits and pieces and the settings also on my GoPro and then hopefully we're going to head out into some local farmland miles away from anybody uh, and just try and find a couple of photographs to take because I need to take some photos. So let's jump into it. All right, well, first off, um, this right now is being filmed with my Sony uh, A7S II. Uh, there will be a couple of macro shots when we're out in the field that will be taken with the same unit, but for the most part, once we get outside, everything's going to be shot on the uh, GoPro. All right. Um, now I do have another GoPro, which is a Hero Black, okay, that I'll be using for uh, B-roll that I'll just set up so I can walk past the camera and do some little shots like that. Um, but that's by the by. For the most part, I'm going to be focusing today on using my GoPro Hero Black. Now, as you can see already, I've got it in a cage. This is a cage uh, from the company uh, Small Rig. Okay, I'll put a link to everything in the description. Um, and also, again, today is going to be quite a um, an intensive uh, video with name dropping of manufacturers. And I must state at this point that absolutely nobody that I mention in this video, manufacturers wise, have paid me to say anything good, bad, or indifferent uh, to support their 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 hardware. Okay, so it is what it is. This is the gear I use. All of the gear that I'm using today, I've bought job done. Um, so I've got a small rig housing for my GoPro Hero 7. Um, it does also come with a, a fitting that goes over here that will allow for a circular uh, filter to be put in place but I prefer to actually use a filter set that we'll look at in a minute that's fit pretty much by over the default lens of the GoPro. All right. Um, now in order to use external audio as well, um, because I have recently bought this, which is the audio, the proprietary audio dongle from um, from GoPro. Um, in order to use that uh, on this housing, there is also a, another um, element to the housing, which is this little clip here. And this, this will just fit onto the side of the housing wherever it is that you wish to to fit it i have actually also fitted a hot shoe adapter on the top okay because that is where i'll be placing my microphone um, now with regards to microphones uh, on the normally i'm sat here with my little personal mic on clipped onto my t-shirt uh, but in fact i'm filming with a microphone that is attached to the um, sony today um, because at the moment I'm going to be going through how I set up the audio for this uh, bad boy um, with the audio system that I generally use which is the Rode uh, Studio Link. Um, that is the audio, my preferred go-to audio system that I use whether I'm filming with my Sony or whether I'm filming with my GoPro. Okay so we'll go, go through all of that in a short while. Um, some of the other aspects that I use when I'm filming with uh, GoPros, um, as I mentioned earlier on, I've got a set, this set here of uh, ND filters. Basically they're like um, sunglasses for your GoPro. Uh, and I've got a set here from a company called Freewell. Okay, they do um, filters for GoPros and um, drones, that kind of stuff. Um, and on here, um, I've got an ND4, ND8, ND16 and ND32. Now depending on uh, the conditions outside today, it's like semi sunny so I may, be end, I may end up using the ND8 and all this does is because the GoPro is a fixed aperture camera, it's, well, I think it's f2.8 or something crazy, um, in order to slow down when you go into 
highlight or into a very sunny location what happens is the shutter speed on this thing ramps up like crazy now if you're shooting in um, HD 4k for example but you're only shooting at 30 frames a second your ideal shutter speed is 1 60th of a second but if you're stuck at f2.8 in sunny conditions the shutter speed on this is going to be in the thousandth of a second thousands of a second okay so what you need to do is to restrict the amount of light going into the camera and you accomplish that by placing on these opaque ND filters this is pretty much like putting sunglasses on your camera and what happens is because you cannot adjust the aperture on this in order to compensate for the lower light the shutter speed will slow down a bit and what you're trying to do is to, to try and get it as close to uh, 1 60th of a second right now in order to um, attach my audio dongle I'm gonna have to attach my little bracket so let's go ahead and do that um, but very quickly I just want to touch on the power I don't like and I've always hated <laughs> um, GoPro batteries they last they don't last five minutes um, so what I always generally tend to do is use a battery pack or um, a power pack uh, in this case made by a company called nice just a generic uh, brand that I found here in Japan this one this pack is a 10,000 milliamp air, um, and I just simply connect that with a with its regular cable to the GoPro the microphone that I'm going to be using is the Rode link you have the transmitter audio wise okay this is the receiver for the uh, road link system that basically is just going to sit inside the hot shoe I turn that round I prefer to have that around like that and then that just screws into place all right it sits in the hot shoe and now that I've got the receiver on the GoPro all I need to do is attach the audio cable that goes from the uh, receiver into the external audio dongle for the GoPro microphone. Now, word of warning, there are third-party um, models of this, okay, but what they don't allow you to do is to access a very specific audio submenu in GoPros that is only accessible when you plug their proprietary um, external mic adapter into it okay so let's take a look at that and I'm going to take you through the, the screen uh, so it will become very very clear um, to you what happens once you plug this guy in so when you do go ahead and plug this in and then you go to the back of your um, GoPro screen you scroll down from the top and you come to preferences now in preferences you hit that and you scroll all the way up until you come to audio input now if you don't have the dongle or the adapter plugged in all you're going to have on that screen is audio input na which means non-applicable okay once you do have the dongle plugged in you will see as if by magic a sub menu will will pop open uh, and you will allow be allowed to access that simply by tapping on what will be seen as the default which is standard mic all right um, um, a standard mic plus is the second option now a word of warning plus means that it's a standard mic but the signal has been boosted by a, uh, an amount of 20 decibels um, but word of warning on that if you do decide to go with a plus check in a pair of headphones the audio output once you've taken a test clip because if you start to get distorted audio okay once it distorts you're never going to get it back um, from there you have the next option down is powered mic which is what i use uh, because normally i'm sat here with a microphone clipped to my t-shirt um, but that is the microphone that i'm going to be using today with the gopro um, and so i'm actually filming this using a third another mic that i've got the uh, video mic pro which is plugged directly into my sony okay um, that as well powered mic has also got a plus uh, option so it's boosted again by 20 decibels and the final option you have is a line in option and that is particularly handy if for example you're plugging in uh, another instrument uh, or another device into your GoPro unit um, so for me I'm going to go with powered mic uh, and then come out of the menu and we're good to go 
Okay, now very quickly, uh, with regards to the microphone you need to have is should be qualified. Make sure that your mic is qualified as a TRS mic. And that quite simply is characterized by these two black bands here. If you have a mic jack that has three black bands, like the one on the right here, that in fact is what is called a TRRS mic. And all of that is uh, relative to the wiring inside of the uh, mic jack. Um, if you do have a TRRS like the one on the right, quite simply you'll need an adapter TRRS to TRS uh, in order for it to work correctly with the external mic adapter. But without further ado, let's um, go and get ready, let's get geared up and let's head out because I'm going stir crazy in my office. I need to go out and find something to photograph and from here on in, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the what you see from here on in will be filmed with the GoPro. Um, there may be a couple of aspects of the subject when, when and if I find something to, to photograph um, that I'm going to be shooting uh, with a, the Sony using my beloved Tamron 90mm f2.8 macro. Um, and in order to fit that to the Sony, I'm using the Metabones adapter. Uh, their EF to E mount uh, Metabones adapter. I think it's the latest version, not quite sure, but anyway, that's by the by. Let's head out, go and find something to photograph. Okay, cool. Okay, well, here we are. Awesome. <laughs> it's supposed to be, by all accounts, a rainy, horrible, grisly day, uh, but just look at the sunshine we've got. It's pretty awesome. I'm just a few hundred meters from my apartment, which is just over there behind me you can see that um, and all around me is some farming land uh, it's probably about four or five hectares of land which are all divided up into little allotments and uh, people come down here and do their farming it's pretty awesome um, we're coming into the rainy season now although the, no one told the weather um, and so there's a little bit of wind uh, which is why I've got my dead cat fluffy microphone on here um, and it being fluffy it just eradicates any of that horrible wind distortion noise that you get on a bare microphone um, now my goal for today is to take a look around here there's there's lots and lots of flowers that are still out blooming um, and what I want to try and do is take a nice uh, photograph of, of, uh, of a flower uh, and hopefully we can find some bugs at home uh, living in amongst it um, so Let's take a look around. It's just an awesome place to look around and what a great day we've picked for this first trek in a long time into the wild. Oh, well, I didn't mention that today um, I'm going to be shooting the still photography on my trusted EOS 5 DSR. Uh, to that I've got fitted my uh, Lauer 60mm f2.8 2 to 1, so it goes uh, 2 to 1 macro ratio, uh, and lighting it, out comes the Frankenflash again. Now if you don't know what I mean by Frankenflash, check the video up here and you'll learn all about this monstrosity, um, but I'll be using that for my flash today, so let's go and see if we can find something to grab. Pickings, it seems today. Um, I've been quite a bit of a walk around and uh, as yet still to find something. Uh, so I've come into another area. Uh, this is even closer to where we live, probably about 100, 200 yards. Uh, but it's actually a um, almost like a set of caves with holy places where people come to pray and lay blessings. And there are some this area, in fact, where we live is one of the first areas where the invasion of Okinawa began in the Second World War. Uh, and so there's lots of little shrines and stuff like that around here. So um, we'll go look around in there and see if we can find anything. There's quite a lot of vegetation. 
Uh, it's quite chilled and because we're in a kind of like a subdued light lit area now uh, I've taken the ND filter off of the GoPro so uh, let's hopefully see if we can find something in here. Okay, well, as I was starting to give up hope, uh, luckily, uh, I was coming through the vegetation, I had to duck under a tree, and just on top of the tree, I'll show you in here, uh, you may not be able to see it because it's such small detail, is this vine. And on this vine, right there, are two little bugs, and I don't know if they're mating, but they're back to back, um, they're not moving, they're not going anywhere. I'll line up and try and get a shot, a photo, with the, uh, with the Lauer 2 to 1 on my 5DSi using the Frankenflash. Cracking. All right, well, fortunately for me, they're still hanging out. They're just here on this little vine. Uh, they've turned around. The one that was at, the, when they were, when I first saw them, they were back to back, but now they're kind of like, one's got its face buried in the butt of the other one. Uh, so whatever floats your boat. But, um, I'm going to not waste too much time because I don't know how long they're going to hang around. I'm going to be at two to one because these guys are very, very small. Try and get them uh, full frame at twice life size. Um, I'm going to be shooting at f11. My flash is on one quarter speed. Uh, timings wise, uh, settings wise. ISO uh, 160 and one 125th of a second. So let's uh, have a shot and see what we can get and it's fantastic that we've got this uh, branch here because I can actually rest the camera and my hand and lean against it to get as stable as I possibly can uh, without using a tripod now I can use my modeling light uh, because this lens uh, it's not it doesn't have a diaphragm so it's all fully manual so when you close the aperture down when you reduce the aperture size the image in the viewfinder gets quite dark so with with the spotlight with the modeling light everything is much better okay here we go Let's see what we get Okay, well that's a little bit dark. Okay, so let's pump up the uh, settings. I'm now at half power. Let's see where we are. And I need to get that really close into the lens. The modeling light. There we go. Okay, there we go. Cool. There we go. Still a little bit dark. Okay, I'm going to come down to f8. Let's go full power because we do have these diffusion panels on, so that might be chewing up quite a bit of the um, power of the flash. There we go. Hey, much better. Cool. Where are they? There they are. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a different angle on the front one the back one's going to be uh let's get these glasses out of the way the back one is going to be out of focus but i'm not too worried about that that's cool let's see if we can get one more yeah hopefully 
that is with the compound eye nice and sharp on the lead one. Awesome. The eye is super sharp and in wildlife photography if the eye is sharp everything else is golden. Uh, okay well, I'm going to take a few more shots and I'll catch up with you back in the studio. Whew, well there we go, just back from the field and uh, you can see I've already got some footage in the computer, you can probably hear it chugging away on the render as we as we speak. Um, so there we have it, that's my uh, little vlogging rig uh, when I decide to use the GoPro. Uh, it is very handy obviously because of the form factor, very small, uh, if I can't get the bigger camera into, into the place I need to get to, rely on this guy. Uh, also for splashes, wet environments, that kind of stuff speaks for itself. Um, I like it. I'm not like 100% massive on vlogging with the GoPro, but it is an option, especially for those who are starting out uh, to begin with. Um, but yeah, GoPros are awesome. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, all that remains for me as normal is to say a big thank you for including my content in your viewing uh, play for your viewing pleasure here on YouTube. Uh, I very much appreciate that. Um, and now, thankfully, yay, uh, the governor of Okinawa has just said that we're coming out of the lockdown. Now, in my opinion, coming out of lockdown doesn't mean that we still don't face a big, big problem with coronavirus. I believe that we do. Um, so as always, take care take all the necessary precautions and as of now hopefully we'll be able to start getting more out into the wild and bringing you some adventures from around Okinawa not just in my own backyard uh, but obviously I'm going to play that very much by ear and uh, I will take you on adventures within the next few weeks so uh, please take care come back soon bye for now